Hey, I'm Mark Bolin. I'm in Los Angeles, California at Eastman, and I'd like to introduce to you the 495 B flat sousaphone by Eastman. I don't play traditionally as far as marching band material. I play mostly jazz, playing out on the street or on a stage, you know, mic'd up. Musically, that is where I live. I kind of filled a niche. There weren't too many people doing it outside of uh, New Orleans. Uh, I play a lot of hip hop and rock and roll, and, you know, blues. And so commercial pop, uh, traditional jazz, improvisation, I improvise. Who was it? Ray Brown's like, you can move mountains with a, uh, with a bass line. And I'm kind of prone to, uh, to that philosophy as well. So this instrument, Eastman's been really great to work with. They go out of their way to talk to people who play in various genres uh, and who have totally different approaches to the instrument and to, and to music. There's a few things that this Eastman horn does that are really game changers to me. One is to be able to, to move the, the first valve slide. Going back to like, you know, uh, 1930s Yorks, they don't exist. I can play low C's and low B's in two, which is really a first. Before I would have had to compromise other notes in order to get C's and B's in tune, and it's just really a game changer for me. Uh, they've implemented a, uh, a shoulder plate. All the things that they're doing are really trying to make it easier for me as a musician to do what I do. I've been on the march before and the neck just broke off and I had to like hold it on and kind of seal it with my fingers just so I could get through the gig. You're not going to have to worry about that with this instrument. The neck is, is positioned and braced so well. Also, it's lighter. And I'm not sure how they were able to achieve the standard of, for bracing that this instrument has and still come out lighter. Not sure how they did that, but they did. Thank mm -hmm.